Yeah. So, um, so we've got sales velocity. We've covered price elasticity. That means how you are fluctuating the price based on whatever decisions that you decide to make. But the biggest thing from everything you're telling us that I'm taking away as another thing to keep track of is not actually a data point, but it's a discipline in terms of cause and effect, right? So when you are, so your sales velocity, it goes up and down. Now it goes up and down naturally because consumer behavior, we have no idea what that's gonna be. So that's driving what's going on. Given all things remain the same, which they never do, but to a certain extent, uh, they remain the same, uh, assuming consumers behave certain way. And then you want to track what is your sales velocity. But there are things that you do every day. So what you are saying is keep a record of those yeah. in conjunction with the data that you are viewing so that you can say, oh, my sales velocity went from three a day to five a day because I did nothing or because I increased the price or I reduced the price. Or, or there are even external factors like certain suddenly trends start to take place and things like that, right? Two words and remind me if I don't cover these. WBR, weekly business review and controllable inputs. So for your listeners, Amazon is a trillion dollar company. And to this day, they still have weekly business reviews. And you talked about discipline. That's a key thing that brands should put in place. So in the backdrop of everything I said, remember that I keep on emphasizing, you want to understand cause and effect, cause and effect. Most companies, they only look at the output. They look at sales, to your point. But you can't do anything with that information. Your sales was 100 units yesterday. Okay. What you want to understand are what's called the controllable inputs. That's a term that Amazon uses. So the controllable inputs are what, what parameters, what factors explains the, the output you saw. You got a hundred units sale yesterday. Okay, that's 10 more than last week. Why did it change? Why did it go from 90 to 100? There was some change that happened that drove that increase. When you're a business, what you really wanna focus on is those controllable inputs because those are the things that you can actually have an impact to increase your sales, to decrease your costs or to maximize your margin. Too many companies, too many brands, they focus only on the outcome and you can't change the outcome. They will spend hours looking at sales numbers. This many dollars last week, this many units were sold last week. That is a key mistake that brands make because you can't do anything about that. You wanna understand the controllable inputs. And then you wanna have the discipline you mentioned. So you wanna be able to look at those controllable inputs typically on a weekly basis, because you want to understand, hey, as these inputs are changing, here's what happened. And it's that relationship that's really valuable for you to understand. You're only going to understand it if you look at it periodically in the same way using the right data. Yeah. I mean, this is, you know, this is the reason why I, I love uh, talking to the former Amazon people because you have these these terms that you assign to different things that uh, really say what they are, and at the same time makes it easy to to deal with. So controllable input, um, and those controllable inputs are things that you do something yourself, and then it makes an impact on the outcome. What about external stuff? Like for example, uh, I live in New York City, and as we record this, it's now June, uh, June twentieth. A couple of weeks ago, we had the wildfires in Canada, and the whole sky turned orange. 
disappear and with smoke. So what happened? The mask sales went up. So what do you call that kind of uh, an event? Actually, it's not going to surprise you. That's an uncontrollable input. Yeah, I mean, one thing that you, by the way, if you ever worked at Amazon, you become really good at, um, I, I call it the no BS way of thinking. Uh, I think most people have heard that Amazon has got this term called um, crap, which is can't realize a profit. A profit. Uh, and so you'll talk about crap products. These are products that you can't make any money on. Um, so yeah, those are called uncontrollable inputs. Uh, you still want to understand the cause and effect between them. A classic one, by the way, is weather, right? Weather is an uncontrollable input, but it definitely has an impact on your sales, right? If you sell sweaters, you're not going to make much money in the summer. Uh, so that's uncontrollable. The weather is uncontrollable. However, you can make that an input that you, you can impact that input by switching the channel where you sell or the geography, the channel here, I mean the geography in this case, right? So in the, when it's summer in the Northern hemisphere, right? Sell your sweaters in the Northern, uh, in, sorry, when it's winter in the Northern hemisphere, sell sweaters in the Northern hemisphere. And when the six months later, right? When it's summer in the Southern hemisphere, shift to those channels and sell down there. And so this is what I mean about like, you wanna understand always the relationship, whether it's controllable or not, because once you understand the relationship, those are the things that you can actually use to make decisions. Just looking at output metrics is not helpful. Right. Uh, I've worked at places where you will spend hours looking at just sales numbers and no decision comes from that. Yeah, exactly. I mean. I, I, I talk to many people and they talk about, oh, you know, I look at my KPIs and blah, blah. I say, okay, uh, can you share with me what your KPIs are? Well, my profits and my sales. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, top line doesn't tell you anything. Your profits don't tell you anything. What is, what is driving that top line? What is driving that profit? What well, I don't know. So, so that's why I want to get into it. So, um, okay. Um, Sales velocity, price elasticity, cause and effect, looking at it over time at skew level. So this automatically spells out, a, 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 as you put it at the beginning, a multidimensional complexity where you now need to be, and by the way, looking at numbers alone is not good, right? You have to visualize them, right? <laughs> You, you, you can't you can't pick up from numbers trends, but from visualizing you can pick up trends. Oh yeah, absolutely. Um, I mean, every person is different, but typically you want to visualize the numbers.